Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today is Monday, uh, September 5th. <laughs> it's Labor Day. Uh, I took the weekend off of making videos and stuff to spend with my family, uh, mostly because we had a lot of plans this weekend, and I knew I wouldn't really have time to sit down and record, and I was right. <laughs> but I'm back now, and I got a few videos filmed for, or not filmed, planned for this week, and this is my first one. <laughs> this is, um, fair results so I did decide last minute <laughs> to enter some items into my county fair uh, on Saturday the 3rd so that night is uh, the night before that the second is when I decided to go ahead and gather up some things so I did gather up 11 things to enter into my county fair and these are all things that I made between the last fair last September to this one because um, it's the rules that you have to make it within the year from one fair to the other the other <laughs> But um, I did take some pictures at the fair that I'll pop up as I'm talking about them. And all the links to everything that I can link below will be below. So, uh, like I said, I entered 11 things. 10 of them were crochet. One was a sewing project. And uh, last year I entered a tote bag that I made and it didn't win anything. But this year I entered my Halloween tote bag that I made myself with the ghosts and skeletons on it. And I got first prize for a sewn tote bag. So that was really cool. So I have... I'm lots of flickering. <laughs> I have... Um, I'm like an award-winning crocheter and sewer now, so that's pretty cool. I was super excited to see that. So I'll, I'll insert the pictures, or I think I already said that. And then, these are in no particular order, because I I don't remember <laughs> how I, or, or when I did them. But uh, for the pillow category, I entered a the cat pillow that I made sometime this year. I can't remember when I made it. But it's patchwork. It's called the Patchwork Cat by the Underground Crafter. So I made that, and I entered it. It's a bad picture, but it's because the way the shelves are at the fair. But I also got first prize, first place for that too. So I was super excited um, to get that for that pillow because that was a lot of work. Um, a lot of sewing done on that. And then let's see here. For the uh, this category was, I think, a uh, stuffed toy category. And I entered my Queen Elizabeth from the iconic uh, crochet women book that I got gifted to me. And I made her, I think, earlier this year too. Um, so I got second place for her. I thought that was pretty cool. That I got second place. The first place was another crochet item actually, but it was like a Highland cow that someone made. So it was really pretty and it, uh, you know, I think it deserved first too. It was really detailed. And then uh, the next category was crochet sweater. And in it, I entered my easy pullover by Sorella that I made in, um, I think it's neon stripes by Red Heart. I made, I started that last November, December-ish. And I'm, I was pregnant, so I made it then. So I was pretty excited to win the, on that too. And I got second prize on that. Uh, yeah, and the first place winner was a blue cardigan. Uh, it was a sweater, and it was like a solid one. So I think that's probably why it won first prize, is because it was like a solid sweater. Mine was like a meshy open one, but I'm still happy with second place. <laughs> and the next one was crochet hat category, and I entered the pumpkin hat that I made June, just uh, very recently within the last month or so, and it's called pumpkin hats for the family by crochet. Uh, 365 knit tube <laughs> and it's a free pattern um, so I made that I did alter the pattern a little bit it's um, I just did the stitches a little bit different and but it turned out cute and it won first prize in the crochet hat category so I was super excited about that all right and then in the let's see here uh, the baby afghan category <laughs> I entered my um, scrappy Halloween blanket that a lot of us made last year uh, around Halloween time <laughs> during Vlogtober um, and it was the one that started with a spiderweb uh, square and then uh, I just did my scrap yarns all the way around it that I did uh, I had some of my own scrap yarns and some that I did in a swap uh, and then I put little appliques on it I entered that into the baby afghan category and it won second place which I thought was super cool because um, it was a scrap afghan uh, so it was really cool that it won second place and then let's see here uh, I'm, trying, I'm saving the ones I didn't win anything for last. Let's see here, I got eight ribbons. I can't remember if I got anything for that one. I'm gonna have to look at my pictures in a minute. <laughs> okay, for this is a toy category, and I entered my Mother Goose pattern that is by Stringy Ding Ding. Uh, it's a free and pay for pattern. You can buy the PDF or just use the free version. Um, so I just made her and uh, entered that as a toy, and I got. Uh, first place for it, I think. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's first place. Uh, so that's pretty exciting too. I'm gonna have to pause this and look at my phone real quick to see 
which one I'm forgetting. <laughs> okay, I looked at my pictures and I remember now. So the last ribbon that I got was for my crochet stocking in the stocking category. Um, and it is the Country Cottage Crochet Stocking <laughs> by the Turtle Trunk. Um, so I got second place for that, which is really cool. The first place winner in that one was one of those kits that you can get from like Annie's. That is um, like, I don't know if it's cross stitch, but it's like beaded. I think it's cross stitch with beads. That was the one that, that was the one that won first place, which I'm fine with because it was really pretty and detailed. Uh, so the three that I entered that I didn't win anything on was the any other crochet item category. I added my lacy tank top by the lavender chair, that my purple one I made. Um, it didn't win anything, but there was a whole bunch of other stuff that was in there that because it's like a miscellaneous category. I don't really remember what one for that one. I didn't look. <laughs> um, the Afghan category, not the baby Afghan category, I entered my ripple stitch uh, rainbow color scrap gun. It didn't get anything, which is fine. The one that won first place and the grand prize in that was a really pretty, um, it was like browns and blues. So it looked like a sampler. It was like squares that were sampler. They're all different stitches. It was really pretty. It deserved it. And then the last thing I entered that didn't win was the Hall it was in the Halloween decoration category and it was my poison apple by Fanny Toys. I think is how you say that. It's a paper pattern on Etsy. Uh, it didn't win anything, but there was a lot of really nice <laughs> Halloween crafts this year. Um, some, you know, sometimes it's hit or miss really. Sometimes our fair has a ton of different types of crafts entered into it. Sometimes it, there's not a lot. And this year was one of those where it had a lot of um, crafts entered into certain categories, like the Halloween crafts. In years past, I would, there's only like been three or four items entered. This year there was like 20 Halloween crafts. So it was, it was cool to um, see them all. But anyways, so I entered 11 things. I won eight ribbons, four first place, four second place, and then three things I didn't get any ribbons on which I'm fine with. I think that's still pretty cool. I'll probably get all around like maybe $30 <laughs> uh, on the 11th when I go to pick up my items. Because um, the first place ribbons are usually 6 to $8 I think each. And then second place is usually like 4 to $6 each. So I'm not exactly sure how much each of these categories is. It's different for every category. So I'll probably get around $30 something dollars, I'm guessing. I don't know. Somewhere around there. Um, for my, my eight ribbons, so I'm excited about that. I'll probably use that for yarn, <laughs> or I will just put it in savings or something, I don't know. I'll decide whenever I get the check. <laughs> but, uh, so I have to go on Sunday, this coming Sunday the 11th, to pick up all my items and my ribbons and my check. <laughs> and uh, then I can start getting ready for next year. I really wanted to enter my um, Christmas afghan this year, but I didn't get it finished. I didn't get the lining on it. So technically, if I wait until after this fair is over, and then line it, I can enter it next year as my afghan. So I think that's what I'm going to do because it's not done yet <laughs> until I line it. Um, and then I want to make a mandala baby blanket for the fair next year because usually, uh, any, usually if anyone enters any type of mandala top uh, blanket where there's like a bunch of different stitches on different, you know, rows or rounds, um, those are usually the ones that win first and best of show. The two years that I won best of show, was with my Mandela Madness and a baby blanket that was called um, the High Tide Waves, I think it was. They're both kind of Mandela-ish patterns. So um, I think that's what the judges like is to see a bunch of different stitch work. So I'm gonna remember that for next year. But I do wanna enter my Christmas blanket when I get it done. And then I'll make it like a Mandela-ish baby blanket to enter. But yes, that's all my fair 2022 <laughs> things. So, so far I've entered the fair 2016, 2017, 18, 19. I didn't in 20 because the fair was canceled. Uh, 21 and 22. So 16, 17, 18, 19, 21, 22, six years. <laughs> I've been entering the fair for six years. Uh, just missed 2020 because of everything being canceled that year. But I'm pretty excited. I thought it, I thought I did pretty good. And especially since it was like um, last minute entering, because <laughs> I, I was early this year. I was planning on entering the fair, and then I just got busy with having a baby. And everything just went crazy after that. And then homeschooling and stuff. So, um, I, did, I was thinking a few weeks ago. I was like, well, I'm not even going to bother in the fair this year because I'm so busy. Uh, we'll just pick up next year and do it again. But then Friday night, I was like, you know what? I got some things laying around here. So, I'm just going to go ahead and enter whatever categories I can feel and go from there. So, I did do that. So, on uh, Saturday, we went to the fair and entered. And then later that evening, we went back to see what I won. And Jesse Road Rides. And we ate a bunch of fair food. And we came home. So, it was a lot of fun. But yeah, so 
that's how it did in the fair. <laughs> Let me know down below if you've ever entered your county fair. I know uh, a lot of places don't have county fairs, especially outside the U.S. <laughs> um, so I don't know if other countries do things similar to that or not. I don't know some states even don't even do county fairs. I don't know if that's maybe... Uh, I know it's in other places, not just the south, but it seems to be a lot more popular in the south. Um, but it's fun. I love it. Uh, it's pretty easy to enter stuff in the fair, at least in my area. And we, it is free to enter things here. Um, and there is, uh, premiums. They call it premiums. So when, if you win, we only have first place, second place, and then best to show. So we don't have a third place. And we get little bits of money. Best to show is $10. So it's always nice to get best to show. <laughs> but, um, the way I figured out how to enter the fair is I just got a fair book. Our fair, every year around the fair, they put out a fair book. They can get for free at, like, banks and the library and stuff. Uh, and it has all the categories and when you can come and enter them. Um, but you could also contact your fair board. You can look up your county name and state name. Fair board or type in. Um, or you could, you could even call your courthouse or your city hall and ask them. And someone will be able to direct you on who to contact. Uh, and that way you can get prepping for your next county fair. Uh, but it's a lot of fun and it's a lot of fun to enter things see what you won see what other people made and it's fun to get ribbons and prize money but uh i'm gonna let you guys go because i gotta go edit this video it's late in the day already it's like six o'clock <laughs> uh we've been busy today boy we've been getting our um to-do list done <laughs> and i got a few other uh videos i'm gonna film this week uh two of them are tags one i was tagged in and one i just saw so i'm gonna film those eventually and then i'll have a what you work on wednesday video and I'm going to have a Happy Mo video too. So you'll be seeing me a lot <laughs> popping up this week. Hopefully if I get chances to film. But I haven't crocheted at all in September. I've been so busy since, <laughs> since, um, yeah, it's the first. Since the first we've been running around, um, doing errands and things. And we had the fair. And then we did a lot of errands yesterday. And today we did all at home stuff. A lot of things that's been piling up needing to be done. We've been doing so. I'm exhausted today. We did a lot today. <laughs> but uh, we still got a few more things to do before the day's over. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to go get those things done and get this video up. And I'll see you guys in another video. Bye, guys.